For a long time, Marvel Comics has been one of the forefront of the two comic book leaders. They have, Marvel and DC have always been to the top of that list. Marvel has had a lot of characters over the years, done a lot of things. I think Stan Lee creating the X-Men and the Mutants was one of the pivotal moments because it gave rise to different characters and what they could do and all this sort of stuff. And for years, the X-Men, X-Men have been popular. And one of the things that Marvel did that to this day still pisses a lot of people off is when, is when they decided to make Iceman gay. Now, Bobby Drake is Iceman. Has been around since, since he was created in the 1960s. And he's had love interests so we, we, with several women and, and stuff. But for some reason, Marvel decided, hey, let's just go and make Iceman gay. No context, no, 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 no story, no nothing. I mean, it, 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 the whole thing didn't make sense from a logical standpoint, a character standpoint, a story standpoint, a directional standpoint, nothing. But it was done because, you know, Marvel just decided to do it because they don't give two craps about anything. They are under Disney right now. They could do as they damn well please because I, I think Disney doesn't have much hope in Marvel comics as long as they just put out some barely usable stuff here and there. That's all that they want. Story from CBR. Ma- I don't, I don't, I'm going to point out something in this in this thing here that's going to be going to rub something wrong, but it's the truth. Eh? Marvel's voices gives X Men's Iceman new solo series for Pride Month. Now, I mean, let's say this. Eh? What the hell is this? Look at how they make Iceman look here. This is something that that happens a, a lot every time they decide to swap the sexuality of these characters, whether it be Marvel, whether it be DC. They always seem to de-age them so they could somehow appeal to a younger audience. When they decided to make Tim Drake gay out of nowhere, even though for years he's been straight, never had any relationship, but decided to make him gay. They say bisexual, but we know what it is. Tim Drake is in his 20s, I think he's like 21, 22, or something like that. They decide to make him gay, and then they de-aged him to look like he's, what, 14 or something like that. And his, his so-called friend slash boyfriend, Bernard, same thing. Tim Drake is, is in his 20s, and yet you're making him look like he's 14, 14 years old. Look at this. Look at what you've done to Iceman here. He looks like a 10-year-old child. He literally looks like a 10-year-old child. Look, look at this. He looks like a 10-year-old child. This is not how Iceman is supposed to look. Iceman is supposed to look like this, or even like this. This is how Iceman is supposed to look. These designs look more like what you expect from Iceman. Not this. Here he looks like a bloody 10-year-old child. And look at it. The, 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 the man who hugged him up. Look the same thing. This looked like two little, this looked like two what? Two 10-year-old children about to do the unspeakable. That's what it is. That's what it, that's what it looks like. But this is a common trend among Disney per se. They, Disney does it, Netflix does it, DC does it, Marvel does it. They pretty much have it set in their mind that, listen, we are going to put these things out. You understand me? All these images of all these criminal things and, and, and adjust it to make it look like people are younger than they are so we can go after your children. You don't want to teach your children about so or something because you want your children to actually be children. Have fun play and talk about thing. No, no. We are going to target your children with this kind of this kind of sick crap. And then figure to so that you know this is what you're supposed to be. This is what this is what they're supposed to be introduced to. I mean if you take Netflix for instance. You, you see Netflix have um things where we could petition for just you know, set up uh, set up um set up this basically Netflix for kids. You could set up an account for it and your, your kids will be able to see certain things on Netflix that, that, that is there. But when you check it now, there are shows that they are slipping in there with these things in it. 
Because why? They want you to know, listen, we are going to be pushing this hard. You have no choice but to look at this. This is, this is some disturbed, creepy shit. That's what this is. Created by Stanley and Jack Kirby, Iceman first appeared in 1963's The X-Men number one. A founding member of the X-Men, Iceman is a mutant with the power to create ice out of thin air by freezing the water vapor around him. He's been a member of X-Factor, the Future Foundation, and other superhero teams. Iceman appeared in several of 20th century's Fox's live-action X-Men films, where he was portrayed by the boys Sean Ashmore. Iceman came out as gay in Marvel's all-new X-Men in, in April 2015 when Jean Grey learned of the revelation through her telekinetic abilities. That was some messed up shit when Jean tried to brainwash him into thinking he was all kind of thing. I, I, I don't even go into to, to go through that nonsense because it's, it's absolute and utter crap. That's what it is. Absolute and utter crap. What I'm talking about here is, these, is this nonsense. This looks like children. This looks like 10 year old children. What it is, you've made Iceman look like some kind of 10 year old child. Why? These are not good stories. These are not interesting developments. These are not things that people want to actually look at and, and think this is and Marvel voices Iceman. Did you make, do you make the character interesting? I mean, I mean, Iceman's powers and abilities make him a very interesting character that you could do a lot of building upon. No, no, screw all of that. Let's just, let's just decide to make him gay, make him look like he's 10 years old, and then put him in under a cover with, with, with this way, where he's look like he's 10 years old, and some other 10 year old boy is wrapping his arms around him. Why are you going after children with, with, with these kinds of things? Why? Why can't you all make anything good anymore instead of just putting out this rubbish? But this is what I'm going to company just doesn't care. They just don't care. This is their agenda. You look at Disney. Disney has made it very clear that they have an agenda to push this. Eh? They put it into everything now. Every, everything. And Marvel does the same thing. DC does the same thing. And we all supposed to sit down and think, no, this, 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 is, this, is, this is wrong. This is very, very creepy and very, very wrong. That's what it is. Creepy and wrong. Creepy and creepy and wrong. And you can never stop to convince me that this is a this is a good interpretation of Iceman. When you have interpretations of Iceman, designs of Iceman that look like this. You understand me? That make you want to be interested in this character. Why instead would you put out this? It is stupid. It is beyond, beyond, beyond stupid. Beyond stupid. That's it for me, people. Let me know in the comments what you think about this creepy, creepy, disturbing, you know, de-aging shit that they love to do. Because, they, I, I said before, they, 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 they do it with Iceman. Done it with Tim Drake. They even, they even changed the way John Kent looked. It, uh, uh, and that's, uh, I mean, and, and it's going, and not, they're not going to stop. Marvel and DC are not going to stop. This, this is what they are pushing now because they just don't care anymore. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. Be sure to share the video out there. It really helps. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.